We're in the Czech Republic for the 59th World Freshwater Angling Championships, following the England team. And I've got Mark Addy with me, who's one of the joint England team managers, along with Mark Downs. And the lads are on their last day of practice on the match stretch. They're packed, in, uh, packed into a tight little zone, um, and it's very, very hard. We've had about 30 odd hours of solid rain, and it's coming through brown and thick. The water's come up about 10 inches this morning. Conditions are very difficult, and all the lads are restricted to bleak fishing down the side mark. Yes, well, uh, obviously we've fed for bream on the long pole as well, and on seven metres for some roach, but there's nothing showing because of the conditions. I think it's just gone too cold for bream. And yeah. There's only bleak showing at the moment. I think there's been one one bream caught today only. Of all the sections? Of all the sections with right. the Swiss team. Right. I think and, it's the Swiss team. Yeah. And our lads are catching on bloodworm or pinky or something like that, well, right in close to the side. When it's good, they catch on a pinky. Yeah. And when it's difficult, they have to put a bloodworm on to get a bite. Blimey. Just for bleak. Just for bleak. So all your week or so of practice with this massive change in conditions, <laughs> that's gone out the window, has it? Um, not really, because we've been practicing bleak in anyway, so that part of it still comes in handy for us. But as regards catching bream and roach and catfish, and we'll have to see. And I just have this little feeling now that the bream have been woke up by this colder, we colder water right. and colder weather, and they'll be swimming all day in this fast flow. So tomorrow could be a bream day. They must have to feed tomorrow. Right. So it could be completely different. We'll hope so, and we'll hope the weather clears up again. But after several weeks of hot weather, to have a little cold spell with a dose of cold rain, it's changed things completely. The England team down here is all practicing in this tight little zone, but tomorrow they'll be spread out over several miles of water and we'll hope for yet another England team victory. The last day of team practice and I'm with Stu Conroy. How's it gone Stu and what's your feelings on how the weekend's going to go? 
Um, it's been a real mixed bag this weekend, so, uh, this week to be honest. Uh, it, the river's changing all the time. Um, early on in the week, we were fishing with one and two gram floats, and now we've I've actually had a 50 gram float wow. on today because the flow rate's increased. But I think the flow rate's going to decrease overnight, and hopefully that will be mean a few uh, bigger fish caught tomorrow. Yeah, but that will make a difference. And it's at the moment it looks like it's going to be a bleak match, but I think that uh, if someone's brave enough to gamble they, uh, a bonus fish will make all the difference yes definitely um, because if you do go in and, and catch a bonus fish uh, well that then buys you time to try and catch another one exactly. and, and if you yeah. can get yourself one and then maybe two then you're plain sailing then yeah. really you can go and uh, go ahead and try and win sections yeah. rather than with the bleak you, there'll be a lot of people sort of fifth sixth seventh eighth in the section yeah, so it gives you a sort of a, a steady point but yeah. it might not be enough you might need a bonus fish to I think most make teams difference. will play safe um, in the first day and then maybe teams might go for it a yeah. little bit more on the second day I think the key is to be in contention for the second day and if you are then you can start to gamble if you're falling behind that's right yeah, yeah. definitely you can well, lose it on the uh, <laughs> you can't win it on the first day no, but you can throw away you can on throw on the second yeah very much so it, well it looks like it's going to be an exciting weekend It's day two at the World Championships. We're here on the River Morava in the Czech Republic, and I'm here with joined here with Stu Convoy. Stu, how did day one go? Uh, for me personally, not too well, but um, we, uh, we didn't have the best of draw in A section, to be fair, and we got it ever so slightly tactically wrong, which was uh, no fault was on. It's just uh, when we practiced A section, it poured down with rain, and unfortunately, yeah. we didn't get a chance to fish for the bleak uh, out at range. Um, the bleak were mainly in the sun, which was uh, a poles of uh, excess of nine metres, and, and we just didn't see that. We ended up fishing for them on whips, which wasn't right on the day. Have you changed tactics for day two? We've changed a few things. Um, obviously, we had some mega performances yesterday, notably Sean. Yeah, fantastic uh, performance. Brilliant, yeah. absolutely brilliant. Steve as well did very, very well. Uh, Will from a not, not very good area. But, uh, yeah, we have tweaked one or two things. Um, Noticeably more than anything, um, the potting in of the bait on the 13 metre pole as far yes. as, uh, rather than balling yeah, in. I've noticed that, say, it all, yeah. every Team England member's done that as, a, as yeah. a tactic. And it's worked for Alan already in yeah. the first hour. He's caught a, a decent fish, about a pound. That'll be, uh, that'll be good in this section up to now, up to press. But uh, yeah, we've got a very good draw this today. Uh, based on the pegs that we had yesterday, we've got a very good draw. So okay. hopefully we could uh, get some good performances in today and possibly get a medal by the end of the Perfect. Day. England are lying ninth at the moment on 29 points. Uh, 19 points is winning it. Poland and Serbia are joint with 19 points. So, good performance today, Stu. We've got a good chance of a podium position. Yeah, very good chance. Uh, Sean's drawn an end peg that won the section yesterday. Alan's drawn the peg that actually won the match yesterday. So, obviously, um, yeah, we've got some good pegs. William, William's peg is not brilliant. Um, I don't think he was in the middle of, uh, middle of B section. Right, but no. William being William, you won't ruin him out coming out with a couple <laughs> yeah. of good fish. He won't man. let you down. No, so. But it uh, should be in for a fascinating match.
We're at the uh, top end of C section in the middle of day two. There's only an hour or so to go and the England team are struggling a bit. They haven't had the best of draws. Stevie Gardner here is in a bad position, isn't he, Gary? Yeah, he's drawn a peg next to the, and he's got a lot of snags in his peg, and he's lost a couple of rigs already, and he, and the fish on that line are a better quality, but you just can't get there with, mm. because of the snags, so that's that's hindered him somewhat. Yeah. And we can only hope that Steve catches one, two big skimmers on this 13 metre line to get him out of jail. The poles have done really well. They fished well on day one. They got themselves into the lead with Serbia. They look like they're performing well again on day two. We would need to catch an awful lot of big fish in the last hour or so in order to catch up. Let's go and see if they can do that and hope for the best. Second place silver medal, Mr. Sergei Fedorov from Russia. Sean Ashby. Gold medal for England, Mr. Sean Ashby. Mr. Sveta. Mm -hmm. 